Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is just kind of go over a brief little introduction of the co-function identities. Um, so the co-function identities, what I did is I actually wrote them out there. Okay, and they're not, you know, something that's necessary. If you, of course, if you know the unit circle, then you can go ahead and go through this very, very quickly. However, it is something that is, I think, beneficial um, to have because it can you kind of use as a, um, a lot of times as a little bit of a quick trick here. And so you can see that basically, you know, the, <clears throat> The sine of an angle of 90 degrees or pi halves, it can be pi halves, you know, minus theta is equal to the cosine of that angle. So, <clears throat> and vice versa, you know, going back there. So basically what we have is the cosine of 30 degrees. Well, then what that means is the sine of 90 minus 30 is going to be the same as that. Well, what's 90 minus 30? 60. So that means the sine of 60 degrees is the same thing as the cosine of 30 degrees. So rather than going over to my unit circle, uh, you know, or it, let's say I don't even have my unit circle. Let's say I'm trying to think of this stuff on my own or it's a test. Well, I notice, hey, sine and cosine, those are cofunctional identities. The difference of them between 90, you know, if, um, if they add up to go ahead, the difference of these two within 90, then they're cofunctional identities. So therefore, that is going to be 1 half. And then we see tan and cotangent. Oh, guess what? Those are, those are differences. So then I look at this. OK, if theta is 6 degrees, that means 90 minus theta is going to be what um, the would be cotangent of that would be the same as this. Well, cotan 90 minus 60, again, is going to be 30 degrees. So the cotangent of 30 degrees is the same thing as the tangent of 60. I don't even have to think about 30 degrees. Where is that on the unit circle? Cotangent. What is that? You know, x over y, blah, blah, blah. If you know these are um, reciprocal identities, Know the answer. Now, obviously, these are all co-functions. So this video looks very, very simple. You're just writing down the same answer, right? But if you come into a test, sometimes on a test, you might have co-functional identities, or you might not. So being able to recognize them can be very, very helpful um, and also important. For instance, here, oops. <laughs> so here I have the cosecant of 90 degrees, um, 9 degrees cosecant. 0, 1. So then that would be the secant of 0 degrees. That's what I've had. So at 0 degrees. And the x coordinate for that is also equal to 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just kind of a brief little overview and description of your cofunction identities. Thanks.